Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Kanek. And today guys, I want to show you a way how to play against the elements. So in this video, I'm going to explain how you can play safe, like the best case if you're playing against the elements. Like even if you go in second, like this is the way. Okay, this is the way. It's just important to know that um, I wouldn't be playing this way against other decks. Okay, only specific against the elements. So check this out guys. Um, obviously you cannot play with a one card combo against the elements. Um, so in this case, let's say we either you want to start off with uh, another black wildwood on your hand or with Vata on your hand. Either way, you need Vata on your hand, okay? So check this out. First of all, we have to activate Simoon's effect. And then with Simoon, we will always search for Zutri if we now have Zutri already on our hand, okay? And then it's important that before you, before you do your second normal summoning, to activate Vata's effect, okay? First some Vata and then go with uh, Simoon for Draco Berserker. Why? Because now, guys, if you, I mean, after this payback, those cards that usually would be a pain in the ass for us, like if, if you are, if you have PTSD against Huffness, then this is the antidote against Huffness or Kelbeck, whatever. I don't even believe that Kelbeck is such a big deal, but uh, it could be. But Huffness is like their go-to, their best case hand trip. I, I would consider it a hand trip because like once a monster effect activates, he can trigger it and then go for beautiful things. Uh, not only that, you can also do that on a Bisted card, even though... Uh, the, the targeted card will still be banished, but as long, I mean, at least he's not going to summon his Bissett monster, so that is good. But, um, yeah, so Berserker is our third summoning before we even activate the effect on the, on the field. And now we will continue with our normal, uh, like with our normal, normal summoning, like the regular normal summoning, right? And then uh, chain one Zutri, chain two uh, Vilewind. Now, usually. When we activate Zutri's effect, you guys already know that you activate Huffness, right? If they would, then go ahead, activate Berserker. And then you should be fine. Right? Beautiful. And next up, we're gonna search for Gale and we're gonna search for Shamal, okay? And you guys already know. Like, uh, Gale, one Gale and one Zutri is full combo for us, okay? So we're gonna activate Shamal's effect, send uh, Wildwind on the field. And then special summon Gale and Zutri to go for Raikiri, change Shamal's effect, and then chain to the Black Feather Wild to target the uh, to target the Zutri, and then get Gale back to our hands. Next up, what we're going to do is to special summon Gale again. Sorry, first of all, to go for Wise Fix with uh, Raikiri and Zutri. Then with y we're gonna special summon Zephyros. Now we're gonna special summon Gale. Use Gale and Zephyros to go for Joe. Now we can activate uh, Zephyros effect to bounce back the Black Feather Wildment. And we don't even need that additional uh, Black Feather Wildment effect. We do not need it. Well, it's good to go for a bigger board. Okay. So next up, we're gonna special summon with Joe the Raikiri. Now use... Um got his name you can use now Zephyrus and Y6 to go for Badish because otherwise we won't be able to get our um Ball of Savage Dragon yeah now I summoned the Kali the Asian Falcon over here but what, what you should have done was to summon the Kali Yuga on the left side where Badish points at so that you can destroy the Black Wildwind because if you do not do that, otherwise you're going to get 1000 damage in the end phase. So you do not want that. Because we already got uh, 1100 damage thanks to uh, Shamal and thanks to Zephyrus. Okay, so you don't want any more damage. And then we're going to activate Rusty's effect to send Raider's Ring and get the rank up. Now with Azan Falcon, we're going to get our Ball of Savage Dragon. Just like that. Then we're going to activate again the Black Feather Wild to special summon the Joe if you want to. Or, like, yeah, this is the best thing that you can do, honestly. And now, guys, let me explain. 
So, like I said, you only want to do this if you have PTSD against toughness, hellback, whatsoever. Okay, but this this play right here could potentially, depending on what you still have on your hand, could lose against a single bestial interruption. Okay, it could. Not sorry, not saying it will, but it could. But I mean, it's up to you guys. Let me know. Would would you rather play it like this way if you have the chance, or would you just continue with your normal deck? But this way, like, because the thing is, if halfness is resolved, once halfness is resolved, we're gonna have a long day, guys. Because one halfness could potentially mean that he is going to summon his Rukulus then. Kellos and all those other I forgot in their names but they, they he can do a lot of things and that's why you guys need to decide like if you want to go this way or the other way okay um yeah but even even let's say even we're gonna get interrupted and we are not able to go for Kaliuga it's still cool it's still cool because Draco Berserker guys Draco Berserker is so good it's really good because even, like, okay, it's his turn. What, what is he going to do? He's going to activate Tyrant's effect. All right, good. Just banish. Then, yeah. Like, if he if he only has, like, one card combo, he's going to lose against that Berserker, right? So, that's also something that you need to keep in mind. And besides that, like, this looks good, man. I like it. <laughs> uh, all right. And if you are going second, okay, let's say you're going second, and you have the same hand, okay, let's go back. Like, even if you would go second, what, what you always need to do is always, like, if you have if, the, if you have the opportunity like this, like where you have Vata and Zuchi on your hand, then always, whatever you do, always go for Berserker, because this card alone, this card alone like, is going to, like, if they have Rukulos in the field and the other, forget his name, they're not going to activate them. They're not going to activate them because why would they? They're just going to lose their monster and they like they cannot special summon them again. So yeah, I guess I don't know. I'm I'm talking way too much nonsense. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, last thing that I wanted to add is I'm going to. I have a big tournament. This upcoming weekend, okay. I got one regional and one WC World Championship qualifier tournament in Frankfurt. I don't know if you guys live in the near or if you're gonna show up there, but if you do, like, please come hit up, hit me up, like, please come and say hi if you are there, okay. I, I always appreciate it if. If people that watch my videos, like subscribers, fans, whatever you want to call yourself, like I really appreciate you guys. If you come up, hit me up, like talk to me, like I really like to inter integrate, interrogate, interact, fuck, interact with you guys. Okay, so don't be too shy to talk to me. I really appreciate it. So yeah, if you guys are there, then please come. And besides that, it's time to escape the matrix, guys. It's time to escape the matrix. Black wings are back, and black wings are better than ever. Okay, this is a way how we can play against the elements. All right, man. I'm talking way too much nonsense. I'm out. Peace.